everyone. My name is Patricia Valdovinos, a librarian for the Multilingual Collections Department, and I am joined today by Anita Kelly, children's librarian at the San Pedro Regional Branch. We are here to introduce today's LA Made program, the LA Roller Girls. We want to thank the National Endowment for the Humanities, our Library Foundation, and our behind the scenes staff for helping bring the LA Made programs to you virtually. LA Made focuses on the diverse landscape of the Los Angeles of Los Angeles, highlighting the immense artistic and performances, ta performance talent that has developed in the course of the city's eclectic history. If you would like to see more of our amazing programs, please visit our online calendar at lapl.org slash events. And for specifically our LA Made programs, visit lamade.org slash lamade. Our website also has blog posts that highlight the library's resources and upcoming programs. Also, do not miss our next LA Made program Thursday, April 15th at 4 p.m., featuring an intergenerational conversation on racial injustice surrounding George Takai's graphic memoir, They Called Us Enemy, which tells the story of Takai's imprisonment in a World War II Japanese concentration, Japanese American concentration camp. June Burke, a former World War II incarceree and Japanese American National Museum volunteer, will be Ill interviewed by Abby Hope G.A. Park and Abigail Un, um, two high school students from the Koreatown Youth and Community Center's Koreatown Storytelling Program. They will discuss the novel, the many histories that it connects, and its lessons for our futures. And those attending the virtual program will have an opportunity to win a free book. Now, what we've all been waiting for, I am very excited to introduce today's LA Made program. Um, joining us today is Crystal Roseboro, owner of the LA Roller Girls Entertainment, who is here to give us a free virtual learn to skate class. The LA Roller Girls are USA Roller Sports certified instructors that source top ranked champion skaters based in Los Angeles. They perform worldwide and can be seen in national commercials, television shows, films, music videos, and so much more. For more information on the LA Roller Girls, please visit LARollerGirls.com or check out their social media accounts at, at LA Roller Girls. Welcome, Crystal. Hi. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for the introduction, Patty and Anita. Hi, everyone. I am Crystal, and I am so excited to be here today with all of you. I have been roller skating for over 20 years, and the absolute best thing about roller skating is that you could do it anywhere anytime with anyone. Check out our LA Roller Girl fam skating with the ones we love most. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching that. That was all of us here at LA Roller Girls skating with the ones we love most. And as you can see, skating is for all ages, all people, all friends, all types of love, and it brings a community that is becomes family. So we are so excited to be teaming up with LA Made and the Los Angeles Public Libraries. Today, we are teaching you a learn to skate class. I bet you guys don't know that roller skating is a huge fitness, exercise, workout, and all the calories you burn by roller skating. I have a flyer here for you, and go ahead and check it out. Roller skating is so good for the body, and it's a workout. It provides stimulation for both the body and mind while releasing natural endorphins, which make you happy. It's a low-impact cardio workout, so it nurtures the joints while strengthening the muscles and increasing blood flow in the body. 
the best part about roller skating, you don't even feel like you're working out. You're just having fun. <laughs> All right. Today's class is going to be recorded and it will be available to rewatch as many times as you need. So don't worry, go at your own pace. And again, you can re-reference the class later. Today, we are going to learn how to skate forwards, backwards. We're gonna learn how to fall safely and how to get back up, as well as a few cool tricks like a two foot spin, moonwalk, and shoot the duck. You guys ready? Let's roll. Okay, first and foremost, it is critical that we prepare our bodies. So we are going to stretch a little bit. Just go ahead and follow along as I stretch. We're gonna put the arm across. So a lot of people don't realize that it is a full body workout. So what I'm gonna go over is the skating body position. And what that means is that we are gonna have our knees bent kind of at a, at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna have a tight core and keep our body strong here and our arms out tight. This is your skater body. Our arms are utilized kind of like helper, like a wall, an imaginary wall. So if you ever feel like you're going to fall, you put your arms out and you get low to the ground. The lower you are to the ground, the less impact you will feel. A lot of us like to skate as if we're walking. When we walk, we walk with the heel toe first. However, when we skate, we're in a progressive motion forwards and all of our weight should be on the ball of our foot, which is actually right here where the two front wheels are. So we wanna make sure that our shoulders, knees and toes are lined up. Our arms are out nice and tight. So that way our center is over where we're going, not where we just went from. So again, bend our knees, Tight tummy and core, arms out nice and tight. This is your skater body, and this is where you should always come back to and start out whenever you're doing drills. Now, the super fun part, falling. Everybody falls, so don't worry if you fall. To fall safely, as I mentioned a bit earlier, you wanna get as low to the ground as possible. You never wanna fall backwards, you always wanna fall forwards. So. If you are skating, you're rolling, you're having fun, and you feel like you're gonna fall, you lose your balance, oh no, you wanna go ahead and reach. You wanna do a squat as low as you can to the ground. And then if you fall, we're gonna come onto our hands and fall down like that, all right? So to fall safely, we get real low to the ground and fall forwards. So arms nice and tight out in front of us. I'll show you that one more time. Arms out nice in front of us. Strong arms, bend low to the ground, fall forward onto our hands and then onto our knees. All right, now that we're on the ground, we have to get back up. So the easiest way to do it, we will swing our legs to the side. If you are skating in public, a good thing to remember is to keep your hands close to your body. If you're in a session skating at a roller rink or out in Venice or just pretty much anywhere, you don't want anyone to roll over your fingers, so by keeping them in close to your body, that is ideal. So we will then go up into a 90 degree angle between our legs right here, our knees. We're gonna pick our strong leg, whichever that is, that's my right leg, and we're gonna put that in front of us. So we have a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. This is the position. We are gonna take both hands, set them on our knee, and we are going to as you can see, my foot is not tucking in. We're keeping that 90 degree angle. We're shifting our weight slowly and bringing this foot, tuck it in real quick, and then arms out. And there you have it, you're standing up. Let's go over that one more time for good measure. So we're skating, we're having fun. Oh no, we fall. Low to the ground, forward, relief, relief of impact. Knees, swing them around, 90 degree angle here, Strong leg up, 90 degree angle here. Both hands, chest up, and bring that tuck foot in. Tuck that foot, bring it in, arms out, and stand back up. And you're back ready to roll. A lot of people wonder if you should be wearing safety equipment such as pads, knee guards, wrist guards, things like that. That is at your discretion. I personally don't wear pads 
However, I have been skating for over 20 years. So I am comfortable on my skates and I understand how to fall safely in a multitude of environments. If you feel better utilizing equipment, then I recommend doing that. I do want to make it clear though, when you are wearing knee pads, they create a space between your legs so your feet are a little bit further apart than when you don't have them in. So that gives you a wider center stance. When you lose the pads, when you've graduated to not need them anymore, then you will feel your legs be able to come closer and other tricks will become a lot easier because you won't have an obstacle in the way. Again, utilize pads and safety gear until you feel safe and comfortable and don't feel like you need them anymore. All right, so now we have our skater body position. Strong knees bent, shoulders over knees, strong tight core, arms out. We know how to fall down. We know how to get back up. And now we're gonna learn how to get in motion. This is how you do forward and backwards. I'm gonna show you a video real quick right here on what we're about to learn. chair. There are so many names, but the most important thing is how to execute it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in our skater body and to move forward, we're going to have our toes apart, heels together. So they make a little V like a little penguin. From here, we are going to push our feet, our knees down and out, and then bring them back up and in. Now, when we go down and out, it is important to remember that we don't want our feet to go too far outside of our hips. Okay. We want to just make them go down just a little bit, down and out, and then up, squeeze up and in. You want to keep your arms nice and tight out. I'm just showing you with my arms. So arms are nice and out here, knees bent. We are going to go down even deeper, down and out, squeeze inner thighs up and in. Perfect. We're going to try that again a couple more times. So knee, skater body is engaged, toes are pointed out, heels together, knees go down and out, squeeze up and in. So it goes heels together, down and out, squeeze up and in, toes together. There you go. This is a forward scissor or a forward bubble. Once you have this move down, rather than doing one, you can do two and then three and continue going as many times as you want, and you'll be skating forwards. That simple. Start small, always come back to basics. Once you feel comfortable, you can add on. Now, we're gonna do the same thing backwards. So it's the exact opposite of what we just did. So our toes are gonna be together, and we're gonna go backwards. We are still gonna go down and out, up and in. But this time, we're gonna move it back. Skater body, knees bent, core engaged, arms tight, Toes together, here we go. Deep bend, down and out, squeeze up and in. Just a little guy. Okay, here we go. Skater body engaged, toes together, and down and out, squeeze up and in. Whoops. <laughs> and a couple more times, here we go. Toes together, let me get in frame. Toes together, knees down, bend, down and out, squeeze up and in. All right, and now that you have that drill, you can do that as many times backwards as well. So rather than just doing one, you can do two, and then three, and then four, and then before you know it, you're skating backwards. A super fun drill that I do when I am just warming up my legs before I'm wanting to skate is called the rocking chair. And that is where we do one bubble forward, one bubble backwards, and you kind of just rock. And what's really great about this exercise and this drill is you will be able to feel your body. If you're teetering like this, only doing one scissor bubble at a time will allow you to correct that instead of trying to do a lot and then losing your balance and then potentially falling. So we always wanna make sure we are over our skates, knees bent, core tight, 
over the ball of our feet, which is the front two wheels. And there you have it. There's our rocking chair. So remember, when you're going forward, toes are out. We go down and out and bring the toes in. When we're going backwards, we start with our toes in, down and out, and bring our heels together. There you have it. And that is the drill on how you skate forwards and backwards. I can't wait to see you guys rolling with us all around Los Angeles and all the surrounding cities doing your bubbles. Now, we are gonna get into some cool tricks. Here is our LA Roller Girl, Vicky, doing a toe foot spin, which is what I'm gonna show you today. Check out Vicky. Super cool, right? Spinning is one of my absolute favorite things. Now, some of us may not be at the level that Vicky is at, and she has been skating, we've been skating together since we were kids, so she has a lot of practice as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to break down the beginning steps, level one, level two, and level three, to get you to spinning like Vicky. So what we're gonna do, everything in roller skating is down in the knees. And a lot of roller skating has to do with heels and toes. And that's bringing them together and having those heels and toes work together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our arms out. You can spin to the left or to the right. It doesn't matter. Just pick one. I personally spin to the left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left foot and I'm gonna open it just about like 15 minutes. So just to the next wall. Then I'm gonna take my right arm and my right leg and bring them together. So as you can see, my toes came together. Then I'm going to open my left arm and then open, put my heels together. As you can see, my heels are together. Bring my right arm and toes closed. So we're gonna open, heels, close, toes. Open, heels, close, toes. And open, heels, close, toes. This is level one, just walking around. Now, some of you may find that you are traveling way over here and over here. What that means is you're just not bringing your toes and heels together. So if you find that you are migrating while you're trying to do a spin, which should be stationary, then just remember to keep your heels together, toes together, and slow it down. Take your time. Bend your knees, bend your knees. Bend, bend, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. <laughs> and then the faster you do it, then you're spinning, the faster you spin. I always love to sing while I skate. It helps me keep the rhythm and it helps keeping my brain, communicating to my body what I needed to do. Once you start spinning a lot faster, rather than opening and closing your arms, you're gonna to wanna to hold them nice in front, in, nice and center in front of you. So you can start there and make sure you go heels, toes, heels, toes, and keep those arms nice in front. And as you can see, remember to bend your knees. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. woo! Okay, <laughs> that is level one of the two foot spin. Once you have that down, you're ready for level two. Level two, we are gonna start kind of like our scissors or bubbles, and we are going to have our feet in a V. We're gonna bring our right foot, again, I'm spinning to the left. We're gonna bring our right foot around, and we're gonna have our, heat go, our feet go from heels to meet the toes. So I'm gonna bring this, arms are in front, and watch my right leg down and carve to toes. Now the same thing is gonna happen with my left to right. It's going to carve into the ground and meet the heels, heels. And as you can see, the same down and up, down in the knees, down and out, squeeze up and in. Down and out, squeeze up and in. So now we're pretty much just doing a bubble, one foot at a time and around in a circle. Boom. Down, 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 down. Carve, carve. Toes together, heels together. Toes together, heels. Toes, heels. Toes, heels. Toes, heels, toes. Beautiful. 
All right, that is level two. Now level three is when you're a pro. All right, level three, this is considered a heel toe spin. Because at this point, we are spinning so quickly that we cannot move our feet quick enough. So if you are spinning to the left, we are going to put our right toes in the air and our left heels in the air <laughs> like this, okay? So when we come together, we start with our feet apart, our arms in skater body position. We go down and squeeze in, really pressing our right inner heel wheel right here and then our left big toe wheel. So you wanna squeeze your heel and your big toe ugh, together, all right? So for those level three professional advanced skaters out there, spin with me. We are down and we're gonna squeeze our right heel to our left toe and our skates are gonna chase each other. Tight tummies, knees bent, arms down, round and squeeze. And there you have it. Whenever you would like to stop spinning or slow down or feel your balance coming off, always remember, come back to skater position. Your arms, you can be spinning the, as fast as possible and just make sure you come down safely, okay? <laughs> down to the ground, close, just in case things get a little too crazy. Arms tight, core tight. All right, so now there you guys have the two foot spin which is also referred to as the heel toe spin. And now you can come skate and spin. You can do this in your home, in your driveway, pretty much anywhere on a flat surface is where you can do this spin. All right, I cannot wait to see you guys going from level one to two to three, to spinning crazy out here like tops. <laughs> All right, now we are going to learn the moonwalk. So much fun probably the coolest move ever. And here is Ellie Roller Girl Lean showing us how it's done. And I even put her in slow-mo for us. Check it out. All right, so there you have the moonwalk. Looks pretty cool, right? Cause it is. <laughs> Step one of the moonwalk, this is a progressively backwards movement. We start with our toe, which is on the toe stop, and my front leg, which is facing you guys here in the camera, is bent. I'm gonna pull my leg forward and straighten my knee. So I'm going from my toes, and then I pull it forward until I'm on my wheels, okay? We're gonna practice and drill this leg, just this leg a couple times so we can get the feel of it. So here we go, toes, and my back leg is straight, and then we're gonna push it like we're pushing water, like we're getting the wave back to the ocean. Push it forward until our all four wheels are on the ground. Let's do that a couple more times, here we go. Toes, pull, wheels. Beautiful, all right, two more times, here we go. Toes, pull, wheels, mm-hmm. And last one, toes, pull, wheels. All right, amazing. Now we're gonna drill our left side. Same thing, on the toe, we're gonna push, to the, push the weights back to the ocean and then onto all four wheels. Pull, wheels, great. Do this a couple more times. My left side is always a little bit harder than my right when I'm doing tricks. So if you have a strong side, that's totally normal. And then a side that's a little stubborn that you gotta work on. All right, couple more times, here we go. Toe, knee bent, pull, wheels. Okay, two more. We have toe, knee bent, pull, wheels. Good job. Last one, really warm up our legs. Toe, pull, wheels. Great. So now is the fun part, putting them together. So now we are going to go back to the right. Toe, pull, wheels. And as you can see, I'm going really slow. That's on purpose. 
purpose so that way we can teach our body toe wheels pull what it's supposed to be doing without it getting too crazy toe pull wheels toe pull wheels turn around heel toe spin around we just went over that and same thing bend the knee toe pull wheels toe pull wheels toe pull wheels toe pull wheels we'll do this a couple times toe pull wheels toe pull wheels so this is level one or step one of the moonwalk once you get it going you can add a lot more to it you can speed it up you can slow it down you can add some shoulders some head movements you can michael jackson it you can do whatever you want with this move so a more advanced would be just pull 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 mm -hmm. there you go amazing job so if there are any questions i'm going to go over the next drill and the next trick and then i will bring i will answer all of your questions in regards to any skating moves or anything that you would like to know about skate recommendations or la roller girls so just hold your questions a few minutes longer and we will get right to them okay so now we know how to fall safely we know our skater body we know how to get up when we fall we know how to skate forwards we know how to skate backwards we know how to spin we now know how to moonwalk and our finale trick of the day is called the shoot the duck i love the shoot the duck it was my favorite trick to do when i was a kid and it's still one of the most fun things you can do on skates don't know what a shoot the duck is <laughs> no worries check out la roller girls libby ling vicky and Teresa having a blast on the beach doing some shoot the ducks right here all right as you can see the shoot the duck is low to the ground movement so I have adjusted my camera so that way you guys can get a closer glimpse at what I'm doing. So the shoot the duck is a one-legged pistol squat if you're into fitness, okay? So we are going to bring it down, take it from step one to the shoot the duck. So no worries, this is also a really good workout. It's like squats. When you do the shoot the duck, we start with the cannonball, which is just both feet staying on the ground. Okay, so when you do that, as you can see, I'm reaching forward. My weight is still over my, the ball of my foot. And then once I get to here, it's a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit scary. You just kind of drop and reach even further. So my knees are almost in my armpits. That is how far you want to reach. Okay, I'm going to do it from this angle also. If your feet are too wide, it's not gonna work <laughs> the foot won't go up so you want to keep your feet hips a little slightly more than hips width apart which means my hips are here and my feet are just outside that my arms are forward I'm reaching 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 forward it's even okay if you touch the ground reach forward reach forward reach forward and sit and then here you go you can hug your knees you can reach forwards but this is the cannonball. This is also super fun. Um, just skating low to the ground is really fun to be honest. So we'll try that again. Arms forward, feet hip, hip width apart, and reach, 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 drop it like it's hot, woo! And we have made it. Okay, now that we have mastered the cannonball, it is time to shoot the duck. So I'm gonna pick a leg. Today, I'm gonna pick to stand on my left leg and shoot out my right. So what I'm gonna do, my arms are gonna stay forward. I'm going to shift my knee, shift over my left foot, because that's the skate that I'm gonna stand on, and roll my foot right out. You don't have to pick it up quite yet, but that is the gist of it, all right? I lied, I'm gonna switch feet because this is a burner on the thighs. 
So now I'm going to shift over the employee foot, the foot I'm standing on, which is this one. As you can see, I'm over it. Roll it straight out, okay? Straight out. If you go to the side, it's not going to work. You got to roll it straight out in front, okay? All right. So let's start with this drill again. Step one, cannonball. Step two, roll it out. Here we go. Feet are hip width apart. Arms are reaching forward. Bend, 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 bend down and drop it. Pick a leg. I'm going to pick the left this time. I'm going to get over it. And then I'm going to roll out my right skate. As you can see, my arms are staying forward and reaching. If you are doing this standing still, it is a hundred times harder to do it standing still than when rolling. So the good news is once you feel comfortable here, when you roll, you're going to be a rock star. Okay. Level three, this is when you pick your foot up and then there you have it. You're rolling around, shooting the duck, racing around, okay? Oh, to get back up, that would be put it back on the ground, tuck it in and stand right back up. Let's do it again. Just so I can work out my other leg, here we go. I'm actually gonna do it from this side so you guys can see a little bit of an angle. My skates and feet are hip width apart. I am reaching forward all the way down. I am putting my weight over the skate I'm gonna stand on, which for me right now is the right foot. I'm gonna roll my left foot out straight. I'm gonna pick it up, woo, and I'm gonna have a blast. It's time to get up. Super fun way to come out of a shoot the duck is a butt slide. <laughs> And then we also know how to get back up, 90 degree, 90 degree, bring that foot right underneath us. All right, and there you have it. There is the shoot the duck. Let's go over everything from the beginning that we've learned today, just to have a little refresher, and then we will go ahead and take all the questions. All right, so. Number one rule of roller skating is to always bend your knees and our skater body is knees bent, core engaged and strong, arms out tight. This is our skater body, beautiful. If we ever feel like we're gonna fall, the number one thing to do is to always fall forwards, never fall backwards. All right, we're in our skater body. Oh no, we're gonna fall close to the ground fall forward. Yep. Beautiful. Always fall forward and always get as close to the ground as you can before you have to embrace that impact to get back up. All right. 90 degree angles in our knees. Pick our strong leg. Mine is my right. 90 degree angle here. 90 degree angle there. I'm ready. Both hands on my strong leg. Chest up and push, tuck, bring that foot in, arms out, stand back up. There you go. Now we're back up. All right, forward and backwards, scissors, bubbles, rocking chair, whatever you wanna call them. Remember, skater body, knees bent, heels start out. We're gonna go forward first, down and out, squeeze up and in. Now to go backwards, our toes are together, we're gonna go down and out, squeeze up and in. And again, down and out, squeeze up and in. And remember, don't let your legs go too far outside of your hips. You wanna keep them nice and close and under control. The further they go out, the less control we have. Down and out, squeeze up and in. And when you're ready, you can add as many scissors as you want, and you'll be skating forwards and backwards. All right, then how can we forget the two foot spin? Step one, step it around, heels, toes. Knees are bent, heels, toes. Heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. Heels, toes. Beautiful. Step two is to carve that around. We start with our heels out and we carve and bring those toes together. Carve and bring the heels together. Heels, toes, 
heels, toes. And I'm still in my skater body. Arms are nice and strong. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Boom. Step three to the two foot spin is skater body, down in the knees, squeeze our right heel wheel and left big toe together. Down and squeeze. Stop in our skater body. Beautiful. Oh, of course, we can't forget the moonwalk. Remember, it's knees bent, bent knee on the toe, pull wheels. Straight knee, all on the wheels. Switch, bent knee on the toe, pull wheels. Yep, and we'll do that one more time the other way. Bend wheels, toe wheels, toe wheels, toe wheels. Excellent job. And then, of course, the shoot the duck. We start in our cannonball. We pick a strong leg, shoot it out, pick it up, and have a blast. To come up, we can do a butt slide, which is really fun because we're already close to the ground. Or we can put that back on the ground, tuck it in, and stand up. Amazing, everybody. So that is our class today. Again, this class is being recorded. So if we moved a little quick, don't sweat it. You can re-watch it as many times as you need. Rewind, pause, replay. And of course, please don't hesitate to reach out to us should you have any questions. We are now going to roll right into the Q&A. Thank you so much, Crystal. You're an excellent teacher. Um, I was following along on my skate. <laughs> yeah. and I was able to do the turn, not the fast turn, but I was able to do the turns. And I got my skate up with the shoot the duck and I mastered the butt slide. I mastered the butt slide. Yeah. yeah. I that. We oh, have quite a few questions, so we can go ahead and get started. Yes. First things first from Celia, how often should we change out the wheels on our skates? Hey Celia, that's a phenomenal question. Um, typically when your wheels round out, so if you get a fresh set of wheels, you will see that the edges right here are nice and strong. Once they become really rounded, so mine maybe have a little bit of time still left, then you wanna switch them out. Um, another good thing to point out is the difference between indoor wheels and outdoor wheels. Your indoor wheels are a lot harder and smaller, and your outdoor wheels are bigger like these and gummy. For beginners, I definitely recommend outdoor wheels because they help absorb a lot of the obstacles that we overcome when skating outside, and also they keep us more controlled. Hope that helps. Thank you. Yes, that was great. We don't want to fall over a twig, which has happened to me, or rocks on the floor. <laughs> so that's really important. Um, all right, so this question is from Maria Novoa. Do these tricks only work with a four-wheel skate, or will inline skates work well, too? Oh, my gosh, Maria. This is such a great question. <laughs> this will work both on inlines as well as quads. Now, when you are doing the inlines, Maria, I want you to remember that your, um, your wheels are in a straight line. So the basic principality of bending the knees and the skater body will apply, um, but you won't have the four wheels, so you'll have, but you will still have the same pressures that you will apply for the spin. The moonwalk may be a little bit hard um, from a standstill place, but it might actually be a little easier with the wheels in front just kind of flowing. And then the shoot the duck, just gotta find that center so that way you can just keep it rolling. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. Great question. The core, the core of the body. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, we got Rosalba asking, what tips would you give a brand new skater? Rosalba, Rosalba, beautiful question. The tips I would give a brand new skater is to remember to go at your own pace. So everybody learns at a different capacity and a different speed. So some things that may be harder for you that aren't, that are easier for someone else, do not get discouraged. Um, also, remember to bend your knees. That is the number one tip that I can give to anybody. So many people fall backwards and so many people get hurt or are scared. Just remember to bend your knees and the beautiful thing about roller skating is it's less work. Once you have a little bit of roll, your feet 
don't have to move the whole time. They don't have to work. They just do a couple scissors, push, and then bend, hit that skater body and glide and just enjoy all the work you put in and, and feel like you're flying. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Thanks. All right. Our next question is by Lauren Spector, and uh, they are asking, are there wheels that you recommend for both roller dance? Wait, I think there's a, I think she corrected this part. So roller dancing and cruising. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lauren. Um, I do have wheel recommendations. Uh, for roller dancing, it's mostly on the surfaces that I change up my wheels. I definitely, my go-to wheels are sure grip. Sure grip fames are my go-to hard wheel, and those are. I think we lost your audio, Crystal. Oh, oh are you back? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So sorry, Lauren. Okay. So the sure grip fames, they come in all kinds of colors, so you can customize them. Those I recommend for roller dancing and smoother surfaces. Sure grip aerobic wheels is what I recommend for outdoor skating, cruising, um, because they're more jelly. However, you can skate in both environments and both styles in both wheels. Um, skating on the opposites will make it a little harder. So if you're skating on hard wheels and you're cruising, you'll feel more vibrations in your feet and it won't be that comfortable. Um, and when you're using jelly wheels the aerobics to do roller dancing you'll find that it takes a little bit more muscle to really get those wheels to get you around because they're made to grip but those are the wheels i definitely recommend great question <laughs> all right uh jeep girly asks are there any videos that you know of that we can watch to learn more skating tricks yes there are videos so on our Instagram, we have IGTV that goes over all the foundational aspects of roller skating and what you need to know to skate and to elevate your skills. So we go over all the different fundamentals from balancing to edges, skate equipment, and from there you are able to grow. I also recommend skating with people. Skating in a community is so much fun. Not only do you have a lot of people around you that you can learn from, um, it also allows you to show off your skills. Meaning that you put in all this hard work, you can go out there and you can have a lot of fun, make new friends. Yay, Anita, that means that we have to go skating. That's the that, 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 you. Crystal, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta join Crystal, you all are calling me out. All right. Nazi L7 says, thank you for this presentation. Can you show us how to stop? I always look for something to grab. I think she she will be back. Crystal will be back. <laughs> not that she did not like their... <laughs> there she is. She's like, uh, no, I can't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, how to stop. This is a great question. I apologize for not going over this, but it is critical because we do need to know how to stop once we start rolling. Okay, couple stops real quick. If you're rolling and you have a toe stop, this stopper right here in the front, which most skates do, you have a stopper, you wanna have your skater body and drag your stopper. You wanna drag it at a diagonal angle. You don't wanna drag it up here because it will cause a bounce and you won't stop as quickly and it'll be a little bit more uncontrolled skater body i'm going to roll across the screen for you skater body drag that toe stop drag it into the ground at a diagonal as my toe stop is dragging in i'm pushing into the ground with my left foot this is my right this is my left so as i stop i'm embracing i'm bending into the ground both of my feet that is a stopper with a toe stop. If you don't have a toe stop, you can do a T-stop, which is you drag the inside wheels, and it is the same process from here. You bend the knee and put the skate into the ground. That's considered a T-stop. And then a hockey stop, which is super fun, we will do our scissor, our bubble, instead of bringing our toes back in, we will push our baby toes out. So we'll take these wheels, and push them all the way out and reach forward. This will create a resistance against the surface and slow us down. 
So if I'm coming in hot, I will spread or push my toes out. And that's how you stop. Great question. Oh my goodness. So glad you asked us. We could cover that today. The hockey stops are always, always the hardest for me. And um, I just wanted to follow up. Um, there are different sizes for the toe stops, right? I think yes. the ones I have are a lot bigger than the ones Crystal has. So wait, let's see. And so I, I think that's important to notice too. Does it matter? Does it depend on, does it affect like your moves and stuff if you have a bigger toe stop? Um, It can affect. It's just about adjustment. If you have a bigger toe stop, uh, you just need to be more aware of it than if you have a smaller toe stop because you will hit it a lot quicker and a lot easier. Um, so just to be aware of that, it's just getting to know your equipment. Also, you will find that there are more, there are toe stops that are that have a lot more rubber to their consistency and that have a lot more plastic. The ones oh. with a lot more rubber are gonna stop you a lot quicker than the ones that have plastic. So the ones that are a little bit harder instead of squishy. So just good to know. If you're having trouble stopping or stopping is really important to you, I would recommend getting more of a jelly, a rubber-based toe stop. Cool. Thank you. Good yeah. information. <laughs> All right. Um, Steph is asking, hi, Crystal. Would you encourage an ex-dancer with early onset arthritis to onset arthritis to try skating? I keep hearing no, but I'm dying to get on some wheels and dance again. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Steph, that's amazing. You, as an ex-dancer, you probably have very, very extremely well awareness of your body. I don't know where your arthritis is, but I personally recommend it. A lot of people, for some reason, have this stigma of roller skating that it's dangerous or there's a lot of injuries, and they ignore the fact that there are so many health benefits. So wherever your arthritis is, if it's in the hips or the knees or any joints like that, roller skating is a lower body workout and it will increase the blood flow and strengthen the muscles around the tendons and around the bones, and it'll actually relieve a lot of that stress. I would love to get more into detail with that with you directly, um, because it's a, it's a personal experience that you have, um, so we can get into figuring out a safe way to get you on some wheels and get you rolling. Hey, that's great. Thanks for sharing that. And um, again, you can contact them through their social media, at LA Roller Girls, and it's on the on the screen right now. All right, next question. Um, this is from Marcia, and she says, what should a newbie know about purchasing skates? Great question. A newbie purchasing skates. So of course, any skate that was is in within your budget is a great skate, because uh, skating is important. I think it's extremely important, and I share this with everybody that I come across with, ankle support is critical. Ankle support and toe support. Support. So right here where my skate is, this area, and then also the heel and ankle area. These two areas should be strong. And if your budget is, is fitting more of a recreational boot, don't hesitate to get an ankle brace or an ankle supporter that you can wear when you skate. So that way you can make sure to be taking care of your body and still have fun rolling with us. Yes, no uh, twisted ankles here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, I love this question. Um, Diane oh. asks, what is your favorite music to listen to as you skate? Diane, this is such a beautiful question. For me personally, <laughs> skating is a, a an, an outlet for me, like a therapy. So I love skating to upbeat music. A good Michael Jackson, Bruno Mars, those the musicality of their music just really is so much fun for me to skate to however if i'm feeling real <laughs> real into my emotions say i'm having a sad day or a bad day or i just feel like the world is against me i love skating to ballads there's something so freeing for my soul to have the music loud in my ears and the wind in my face and just kind of letting it all go away no matter what, anytime I'm roller skating, I'm pretending that I am in a music video and I give it 110%. That will take your experience of fun from maybe like a two to at least a 27. <laughs> Always feel like a rock star. That's awesome. You should just be living life like that, man. Just thinking <laughs> that we're in a music video. Life lessons from LA right. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> like a sad girl skating hour. That's what I call the sad girl skating, right? We, that should be a good call. I know. Someone uh -huh. called that. <laughs> you got to let it out. <laughs> all right. Uh, next question is from Sarah. Are all classes online? Sarah, great question. 
Uh, we definitely want to do our part in keeping our community safe. So at this moment, LA Roller Girls is only doing virtual online classes over Zoom. However, uh, with all of the information that is coming out, we are planning to have our first in-person, back in-person class in June of this year, should everything keep going the way that it's looking. So, but right now, yes, only over <laughs> Zoom. And um, keep an eye on our social media and our website because as soon as we are like, yes, we can do it, it will be up and posted and broadcasted because we miss skating with everybody so much. <laughs> yes. All righty. Um, Megan asks, do you have recommendations for pads? Hey, Megan. Um, to be honest, I do not have experience, personal experience, utilizing pads. However, I do know that... Um, you know, I am very good friends with a lot of skating manufacturers like Moxie and Marawa with her Impalas. And I know that they provide pads and different skating equipment. So I would definitely check it out. I recommend something that's not too bulky. That's more that does still make you feel safe and protected. Um, but the more bulky it is, the harder it is to keep your feet underneath you. So just a heads up like that. That's good to know. I think that's also really important for me because I, I think there's a lot of sometimes the back and forth from like derby and skate, like uh, dancing skating. And so the, when you're in derby, you require like the more bulkier ones. And so it's interesting to see that. All right. Uh, next question is from Stephanie. Are there any exercises slash workouts not on skates you recommend for helping to improve balance for skating? Oh, my gosh, Stephanie, this is great. Great question. Yes. Anything like squats or um, pistol squats, anything like that is really great. My good friend Taylor Rossi is has her PhD and has done specific training and has a background in artistic figure skating. And she has dedicated her profession to cross-training skaters off skates. I will um, go ahead and if you send LA Roller Girls an email, or a DM online, I will share her page and I'll also share it on our social media. That way you guys, anybody attending here can make sure to check her out. She is phenomenal and just the sweetest person ever as well. Cool. <clears throat> Thank you for that. I think, yes, sometimes I feel safer to do stuff off skates first. <laughs> uh, next question is um, from, I believe it's Kathy. I hope I'm not mispronouncing their name. Are the, are the wheels interchangeable to a single pair of skates? And what brand of skates do you recommend? Yes, yes. They are interchangeable, which is so great. Um, roller skating is such a community, but it allows individuality and self-expression. So you can change out any wheels that you want. You can change hard wheels, soft wheels, pink wheels, blue wheels. You can change them. Um, there are different axle sizes depending on your frames, which is this area right here called the plate or the frame. There are seven millimeter and eight millimeter. Make sure you know which ones to order so that they fit your skates. Um, skates that I would recommend, I know we had a banner a little bit earlier. Um, they are all down here for you guys to check out. Moxie roller skates, Moonlight roller skates, Rydell roller skates, Sure Grip roller skates, Impala roller skates. Um, if you're looking for to make more of an investment, I personally um, skate on Harlick figure skating boots. There's also Adeas. Um, there's so many great skates out there. So yeah, feel free. Feel free to check them out. And they all come in great colors and are all customizable. So there's really, there's really only benefits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you buy these? Would you recommend these buying these online? Or do you have any? There's local shops, correct? Yes, there are local shops um, as well as stores online. I would, I personally would say to shop online right now, only because you're not sure what's in the store as far as what what they have available. Maybe they don't have the size and color that you have available, so then they would have to order it all as well. Um, but it doesn't hurt to go into a shop and get fitted and get sized and maybe try some on to know what it feels like on your foot. Make sure you're getting the appropriate size and and then have them order it online and ship it to your house. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
All righty. Stephanie asks, um, are there any exercises you'd recommend for us to do to help improve balance for skating? Yes. So um, again, Taylor Rossi, it has a whole Instagram page and business dedicated. Her work is dedicated to balancing on and off skates. So there are tons and tons and tons that can help you out. And there's just not enough time in a day to go over all of those. So I'll make sure to provide that resource on our LA Roller Girls Instagram. So that way it is accessible to you guys. So that way at your leisure and at your convenience, you guys are able to check out those exercises and do them along with Taylor. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Um, for the classes, it, well, this is from Sarah. It says, mm -hmm. okay, awesome. For the classes, do you think we should know the basics or all? or are all levels welcome? Amazing, great question, Sarah. All levels are welcome. Kind of like what I did today where we go over level one, level two, level three. Um, the choreography and the instruction gives you information so that way we are always reinforcing fundamentals and basics to make sure that your muscle memory is reinforcing correctly as well as being able to elevate because you can't grow too much if your basics are not correct. So they are for all levels. It's really good to reinforce those basics as well as then challenge yourself up to level two and level three. Cool. All righty. All righty. Next question, Danielle. Um, can we care for bearings on our own? You can. You can care for bearings on your own. Um, it is a bit tedious and I should personally probably do more often, <laughs> but you would just remove the bearing from the wheel and clean it. I don't recommend putting your bearings in water. So make sure you have a towel and a little bit of WD-40 or oil to make sure everything gets cleaned and all those, the dirt and grime and little dust, uh, dust particles get out of there. All right. That, and, and it's cleaning uh, your bearings important after let's say you get caught in the rain or does it matter yes if you get caught in the rain um we want to avoid our skates being in water <laughs> at all costs so if you do get caught in the rain you do want to i would say that's an ideal time to fix your bear or to clean your bearings and put oil and grease them up a little bit to make sure that they stay and they don't rust and then that's really great because they'll dry <laughs> Cool. All right. And so uh, thank you, everyone. Oh, wait, there's a last question from the library before uh, we close Yay. it. Uh, is it my turn? Well, I'm just going to ask you since I've got yeah. any books <laughs> you recommend about skating? There are so many books about the history of roller skating. So I think what a lot of people don't realize about roller skating is it is so much fun. Um, but also the history is we roller skating in our community was part of the civil rights movement. And I think it's so important to know your history and to make sure that we know from the past and we could do better in the future. I recommend going to all of your local libraries, checking out books on roller skating and also checking out books on your other interests. I personally love marine mammals and self-help. So I use my libraries regularly. I also love tangible books rather than staring at even more blue light through my screen. So don't be afraid. Get out there. Visit your libraries. Check out some books. And I cannot wait to see you guys reading and rolling around L.A. Yay. <laughs> yeah, um, and yes, and we uh, have curbside pickup currently and we um, all that good jazz. So folks can actually get real books in their hands. Well, not real books, but like actual books. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With yeah. pages. You know. There you go. Pages. Um, so I think that it gives us all the time. Crystal, any last words before we close? Honestly, just thank you guys so much for rolling with me today, for partnering with us at LA Roller Girls. We are so honored. Um, we always have fun. And thank you so much. If you have any questions, visit us on our website, visit us on our social media. And if you are rolling around and you see anybody with an LA Roller Girl shirt or myself, please make sure to roll up and say hi. I would love to meet all of you individually. If you have any questions, please don't hold back. We are here to help. Yay. And uh, before we head out and I say my closing, what does your shirt say? I've been like trying to figure oh, it out. Yes, my shirt says, I love, I heart <laughs> LA Roller Girls. <laughs> Yay, okay. I was just curious. I know there might be other individuals just as curious as me. All right, thank you so much for joining us for our LA program.
Um, remember to yeah, remember to check out the library's online calendar at lapl.org. And we hope you will all join us again Thursday, April 15th at 4 p.m. for LA Made programs they call us enemy, intergenerational conversation on racial injustice. And remember, you have the chance to win a free book. So we will see everyone next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Thanks, Anita. Thank you all.